Good morning. So uh, last week I acquired a new project, Exhibit A. It's a 2008 Rance, I believe is the manufacturer name, which I've never heard of before this aluminum trailer and it is haggard. So I'll do a quick walk around just to kind of show you what it looks like. It's uh, pretty tempting just to skip all the video stuff and get to the task at hand and get the trailer fixed, but I actually think it'll be a, a pretty cool project, you know, from start to finish, because it, it, it's an eyesore right now, but at the end, I think it'll turn out pretty nicely. So do a quick walk around. So it's a uh, seven by 12 is the box, plus a four foot V, so whatever you want to call that, seven by 12, seven by 16. It's a seven wide trailer. It's all aluminum. Um, the people who owned it, prior did not take care of it at all um so also you're going to kind of wonder how it got so smashed there's the probably the worst of it that door is also bent it doesn't really close this was part of a hit and run so someone probably got all whiskey bent and ran into it and that's not the worst of it or all of it over here it was shoved into a tree so the trailer was parked on the side of the road not hooked up to anything someone must have had some pretty good gusto ran into the back of the trailer ran it into a tree and just destroyed it and then the people you know prior to it getting wrecked it hasn't been taken care of uh at all so it's pretty haggard it's uh not in good shape but i plan to completely rebuild it and I think it'll be kind of a cool project uh, just to do like a mini series on and kind of document it as I go along. So I'll keep keep with the walk around just to show some of the damage uh, the width that we're starting with. So the front's not too bad. I mean, obviously it got into the roof line. Um, it got all the way down the, you know, towards the bottom where the tree hit it. Um, I already replaced the jack that got broken. There's dings all over the trailer. Um, this door is actually in decent shape structurally. The inside of it, that's what that looks like so far. And yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty rough. There is a vent, so that's kind of cool. The shelving is, uh, poorly done to put it nicely. The fender is also kind of kicked out and then just got bolted back on way out of alignment. Um, yeah, and the panels, as you can see, have dings throughout. They're just in rough shape. So the current plan is I already ordered all new skin for the trailer. And since obviously this back strut or stud, I guess, is absolutely ruined, I have to replace that. And then I have to replace this ramp, nearly the whole ramp. So the more I got digging into it, um, I figured I would take the roof off and add some height because I want to use this for a work trailer and it has a low entry height and I don't want to scalp myself every time walking in and out at work and also probably want to use it for a snowmobiling trailer as well. So extra height would be nice, then you can load a side by side, um, those kinds of things. So we'll see how it goes. To begin with, I'm just going to take all these lower panels off and then disconnect these crappy shelves and then throw it all into the burn pit. I could try to salvage some of it, but most of it, you know, the two by fours are split. There's a bunch of staples in everything. It's not, not really worth salvaging. Also, there's wood packed in a lot of the screw heads. So I've like picked the dirt out, but I don't strip them out. So it's kind of tedious. You would not believe how much crap is stuck behind those little panels and spots. got to be careful not to damage the trailer.
So this might seem super sketchy, and that's probably because it is actually. But uh, so I'm obviously not gonna be able to salvage this, but this top piece is twisted a little bit. And before I pull the top off of the trailer, I wanna try to return it back to being flat. Um, it's not bent, it just has a twist in it. And I feel like this is probably the best time to try to twist it back some. Um, so I have it hooked up to the truck, hooked up to a tree, and uh, hopefully I don't break anything, hopefully. But half the time, it doesn't work how you think it will work out. So we'll see. It worked. So that top piece isn't perfect, but it's a lot, it's better than it was. It's salvageable. Right on.